if you're waking up at three o'clock in the morning or early morning hours let's just leave it open and it's not because someone is breaking into your house it's not because you're restless it's not because a baby is crying it's not because of an earthquake but if you're waking up three o'clock four o'clock just wide awake and you have a funny inclination that the reason why you waking up has something to do intuitively with your spirit, your soul, someone trying to nudge you, then I'm waiting for you. I'm your teacher. You're too early. You too, you're still going through crash if you're going through these things. That's crash. I'm waiting for you here in primary school when you're ready to understand why are you waking up at three o'clock? And it's not because of all the other things that I've mentioned. Three o'clock is a powerful hour to, 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 to do spiritual work. It's a powerful hour to meditate. And it's the most cleanest and purest hour to allow a connection between this realm and the realm beyond the veil. Like the veil is very thin at that time. So many people wake up and with that sick, thick, dense societal programming that McDonald's, KFC, MTV, SABC, all these constructs, government, alles, they've taught you like, why am I up? And you want answers immediately. Let me, your teacher, tell you now, be quiet. Empty your damn mind. Think nothing. How do I do that, Nathaniel? It's like a human asking me how to be a human. You can't be asking me how to be a human. You are the human. Just be quiet and feel what it's like to be a human. Stillness is exactly what you need in that moment. And you'll know exactly why what you're going through is happening. Vulnerability in feeling and not questioning anything just feeling is exactly what you need in that moment three o'clock is the time where your guides your ancestors who are healed your higher self angels they are more prone to connect with messages but only if you are at a vibration where you are not asking where you are not expecting where you are not trying and you are instead being and that means keep quiet. Keep quiet here. Keep quiet here. And just be still. Don't go looking for reasons why. Just let it come to you. Because if you woke up because of this spiritual inclination, this intuitive inclination, and you just so happen to look at the, 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 the phone, which you shouldn't do just by the way, I beg of you, I beg of you now already, do not look at the phone, do not let that bright light, you go sleep and then pa, you just look at the phone, you fucking up your pineal gland, You, if you have aspirations of becoming a clairvoyant and being able to like, you know, decalcify your pineal gland, as your teacher, I'm telling you now already, oh, oh be very careful with putting on bright light over your eyes or on your eyes especially when you just woke up you are messing up this thing that is the reason why we are somewhat connected and fully connected to the realm so if you wake up and you realize oh shuck it's shucks it's three o'clock then you must know that it is in the place of not controlling waking up at three o'clock that something led you to wake up at three o'clock so it was not even in your hands and it still happened let the same energy Look after you now that you're up. But don't go taking control, looking for answers, trying to figure it out. What must I do? What must I do? Don't be a sick, dense product of society in here. Be yourself. Wake up and just be quiet. Close your eyes. Switch this off. Switch this off. Be still. Be nothing. Emptiness must be your friend. Have a relationship with silence. 
And so you will know who woke you up, why you're waking up, and how this nudge at 3 o'clock is really a bigger nudge for your soul to wake up in a bigger sense. The Great Awakening is in full effect this year, particular this year, in particular this year. So don't be surprised if it consistently nudges at you until you wake the hell up. We're not talking about just a physical body waking up, leaving your job waking up, divorcing your husband or wife waking up, um, you know, dismantling away from societal products and ideas waking up. We're talking about your soul, your spirit waking up to a reality that is taboo. But no more is it going to be taboo, especially after this year. If you have not noticed, people, things are a little bit different on this planet. What you call normal is slowly melting away. And those who know have been preparing for this. And yelle wat keni. As I said, ek wacht vir yelle. Waiting for you guys. I hold space for you guys. And one by one, as you slowly awaken and ask questions and become more curious, you will get the answers you seek, seek, seeking for. See, seeking for as long as you are quiet here. And quiet here and peaceful. Wait and see. Don't be quick to say Nathaniel is wait, wait, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll come back to this account. Email me and say I think I think there's something serious that you are talking about and it's happening in my life. Then I'm ready to take you on as a student. But until then, let life teach you what I'm telling you. Let life teach you what I'm telling you. Don't let me convince you. Let life teach you.